I guess it's really interesting for us. Um, you know, we have a quite a small head office team, which is which is purposeful because we try to put a decision making at the hotels. But what we really recognise is just running the hotels um, is, is no longer just enough for our guests. You know, technology has, has moved so quickly. Our guests have you know more power in their phone, you know, than I guess the Ap Apollo space shuttle. So actually, being able to to gain advantages in in a competitive marketplace. But also to, to work with startups so we can, can help them learn how they can take particular products to market, but how we can really innovate and provide an improved guest experience is really crucial to us. Our corporate has really tried to engage with startups so that we can really take an advantage in our marketplace, but also so that we can actually learn far more and far quicker than we would do just on our own resources. There's also a real mutual benefit from, from working with these kind of embryonic companies that have typically very, very bright people, very well connected in, in often an area that hotel company like ours may not have quite so much access to. So by working with these startups, we really feel that actually we can really enhance the experience for our guests, really make sure that we can deliver on the things that those, those guests want, or what's also providing and, and looking to improve the technology and the environment from which, which those guests work in. There are a couple of things that we've really learned from working from startups, apart from the fact that you know these guys are, are very driven, are very smart, very well connected, but also generally because of the size um, of the startup companies, you know, they can move very, very quickly. Sometimes resources can be an issue for them, and sometimes actually get, getting the foot in the door of, of corporations like ourselves is, is the real battlefield for them and actually is the real barrier for them to be able to commercialise and monetize some of their products. What we've tried to do with GLH and particularly with Every Hotels is provide a living, living lab framework that effectively these startups can, can be part of, they can, they can learn, they can understand guest behaviour with us and there's mutual learnings that both the startups can apply to their products that may or may not be in a, in a hotel world but also that we can learn things that we can learn around, around our guests that we can complete improving the experience for them and, and beyond the hotel world you know as well as, as GLH we look to become a digital company not just a, a hotel company so we're keen to invest with startups that maybe go beyond just a normal guest experience in, in a hotel. I think the guide comes at a really crucial time I think uh, consumer awareness of technology has never been higher I think there's a real pull uh, from consumers and industry such as hotels that in my experience have, have lagged from a technological innovation. So I think the world has really woken up to technology and so I think the guide is, is a crucial time now to really help you know, incubate these, these startups that sometimes may find it difficult to, to find their feet and find a, a commercial platform to, to market their product and I think really it helps them to, to find the best ways to get the, uh, the maximum awareness for their product but also get the maximum learnings and investment into the development of that product successfully.